Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to find elements using different locator types in Selenium Python. So let's get started. As we already know, there are different type of locators using which we can locate the elements on the web pages. They are nothing but ID locator, name locator, class name locator, link text locator, XPath locator, and CSS locator, right? CSS selector locator. All these locator types we can provide to Selenium so that Selenium can find the elements on the web pages. Selenium is by default blind, as already have explained in the previous sessions as part of this uh, locator's topic in detail, okay? Selenium is by default blind. It has to take the help of these locators to find the elements on the web pages. But which command in Selenium will intake these locator types? The command is none other than this find element command. Okay, we have to use in Selenium, we have to use find element command. And to this find element, we have to pass any of this type of locators to help Selenium in finding the elements on the web pages. Let me practically demonstrate this for you so that you will understand it better way. Let me switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium WebDriver Python code already written as part of the previous uh, topics demonstration. Now, here guys, we are going to open the Firefox browser maximize the browser window. After that, we are going to open this application URL. Instead of this URL, I will open another URL this time, okay? So I'll show you that URL that we have to automate this time. That is omer.blogspot.com. Why I'm picking this URL? Because this particular application or blogspot website has several type of locators, like, you know, it has a lot of stuff like text area fields, text fields, buttons, images, multi-selection box fields, drop-down fields, hyperlinks, uh, text fields with some preloaded text tables, forms, frames, checkbox fields, radio buttons, many items are there, okay, alerts, a lot of things that we can, you know, uh, for learning Selenium, this many elements are required, guys. all those kind of elements are there on this web page. That's why we are choosing this uh, web page uh, for automating the stuff, for learning the automation or for learning different Selenium WebDriver commands, okay. So here in this case, I, I already told you that these are Selenium WebDriver command we are going to use that is find element command to which we are going to pass this locators. So let's start with ID guys. Okay, let's see. Let's start with ID. ID locator for locating an element on the web page. So here I'll write URL. First I'll copy this URL here and paste it here. Done. After the URL is copied, after going to this application, what I want to do, let's say I want to type some text into this text area field. Okay, I want to type something like this. My name is... Arun Motori, like this I want to type, okay? This particular text I want to type into this text area field. For that, I'll inspect this text area field. And uh, you see, this particular text area field has an ID, guys, okay? Copy this ID, come back here and write down driver dot find element. This is a command I was talking about. To this find element command of Selenium WebDriver Python, okay? We have to pass the locator type here. As a first argument to this uh, inbuilt function that is find element inbuilt function, we have to pass the locator type that is by dot. When you say by dot, the error will come, guys. Okay. You will not get any suggestions. You see, general disabled kind of suggestions will come, grayed out suggestions will come. So, when you're getting such kind of suggestions, and if you're not getting proper suggestions like ID, name, and all, then what you have to do is after typing by, just hover the mouse on this by, which is giving you error, and import this by class from this uh, library or package. You see, by class has been imported from this part, Selenium web driver common dot by. Okay. So now say by dot, now you'll get all this stuff. Okay. By dot xpath is coming, CS selector, link text. In our case, this particular text field has an ID. So I'll check what I'll select by dot ID, comma, double quotes, provide the ID guys. Uh, what is ID? TA1 is ID. Copy this ID and paste it here and say dot, dot what? I want to type some text into the text area field. So I'll say send keys is the command. Okay. In Selenium Python, we have one command known as send keys, which I'll demonstrate again, guys, okay, for typing the text. So here, using this command, I'm going to, this particular step will find the element, okay? For, for making Selenium find the element, uh, this part, highlighted part is enough, okay? And find element with the help of this ID and provided the ID attribute value here, will locate or find the element on the web page. On this element, what is the operation I want to perform? I want to type some text into that. For that, in Selenium, we have, in Selenium Python, we have one command known as send keys command here. In double quotes, I'll give the text. My name is Arun Motori. That means into this text area field, we're going to type this text using the help of Selenium Python. Okay. So here, I'll say time dot uh, sleep for demo purpose. 
some three seconds I'll give or five seconds is enough and say driver dot pit at the end. Okay. So what is this driver dot pit also? I'll explain. This will close the browser again. Driver dot pit will close the browser again. Okay. Driver dot pit will close the browser. So I'll explain more about pit and send keys uh, in the upcoming sessions anyhow. But uh, here focus more on this area. How to find the elements on the web page? Uh, how to make Selenium? Or how to help Selenium in finding the elements on the web page with the help of different type of locators? I have covered here. Run this. It'll open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window, and open the application URL in the browser. You see, my name is Arun Motri. Got typed into the text area field. After five seconds, the browser will close. That's it, guys. Okay, that's it. Because of the split command, the browser is closing. Anyhow, I'll cover the split command and send case command for typing the text into the different fields. I will cover in the upcoming session in detail manner. So this is the focus point, guys. Okay. Now let's. Uh, this is not the end of this session, guys. Okay. There are a lot of other located types. ID only we completed. What about name? So here on the same application, guys. Here we have a text box field. I'll inspect this text box field. I know in advance that this particular text box text area field has an ID locator. I know in advance that this text uh, text box field has a name locator. I'll inspect this. Let's look into the HTML code. It doesn't have any ID attribute, but name attribute is there with some value. I'll copy this name attribute value. And here, instead of saying by dot ID, I'll say by dot name. And here, I'll paste the value that I copied. Name attribute value, I'll copy paste here. Okay. Now, send case, what I want to type here, I want to type simply my name there. Okay. Arun Motor, I will type. Okay. Into the this particular text, text box field. So let's see, let's run the script and see whether find element is locating this uh, search box field and is typing uh, my name into the search box field or not. Let's run this. By dot ID is over, by dot name inside this find element I'm now covering. Few, few other located types are there that I'll cover after this, this example. For sample, I'm covering this guys, okay, you see. So it need to type my name into the search box. Field. You see, my name got typed into the search box field. After five seconds, this browser window will close and that's it. Okay. Because of driver.pit, it will close. Now the next one is with the help of class name locator. Okay. So on the same application page, guys, on the same this application, if you scroll down, there is a button, guys, known as drop-down button. I know in advance that this drop-down button has a class attribute, okay, class name locator. Inspect this uh, drop-down button, and this is the HTML code of this drop-down button. And you can see here. It doesn't have ID, it doesn't have name attribute, but it has class. And this class attribute value I'll copy. And here, instead of saying by dot name, I'll say by dot class underscore name. This one, class underscore name. And here in this double quotes, give this uh, class attribute value of this uh, particular button, paste it here. And now I want, I cannot uh, type text into this button, right? I have to click on this button, okay? Simply I have to say which command dot click. I'll explain more about this click command later. In Selenium Python for clicking, any button or something, right? I'll explain in detail what is the click command in a separate session. All the different tasks that we can perform with the click command, I'll cover in the upcoming sessions. But for now, the focus point is this area where Selenium, we are helping Selenium in finding the element on the web page with the help of the class name locator. Okay, that's what we are doing. That's the main focus point. Run this and see whether it's clicking on the drop down button or not. We'll open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL in the browser and it need to click on the drop down button. You see drop down button has been clicked guys. You see Facebook option, Flipkart option, Gmail option came after the browser got closed, that's it. So class name locator also I covered, okay. Then we have link text locator, okay. Then we have the link text locator guys. So what is the link text locator I'll cover now. So what I want to do here is go to this application page and here, you know, and there is compendium dev, inspect this link. Compendium dev. This is one hyperlink, guys. I want to click on this hyperlink. But it is I, hyperlink. Does it have this is the HTML code of this hyperlink? That is compendium dev link. Does it have ID, name, class name? No, right? None of the attributes are there. So I cannot use those locators. But fortunately, this particular element is a having anchor text. That means we can use this as a link text. Some text between the tags. The text between the starting tag and ending tag can be considered as a link text. Let's copy this particular text, which is there between the starting and ending tags of this hyperlink. Okay, copy this particular text and uh, come back here and write down here instead of by dot class name, you write down by dot link underscore text and double quotes give the text that is there between the HTML tags of that particular hyperlink and 
say dot click again, this is going to click on the hyperlink, right? So this particular thing is a focus point, guys. We are helping Selenium in finding the element on the web page with the help of link text locator in this example. Let's run this and see whether the hyperlink is being clicked or not. Okay, compendium dev, hyperlink need to be clicked and we should be taken to another page. From the main page, we have to take, we should be taken to the that compendium dev related page. So it's opening the application URL. Immediately if you click on the hyperlink, guys, you see original is omea.blogspot.com. It has clicked on the hyperlink and we are taking to another website page. That is testpages.heroku.app.com. Okay. So this is how we have to use link text, guys. Now let's move on to the next type of locator that is XPath locator. So by dot uh, x uh, by dot x path, okay, by dot x path. So how to use the x path expression? I'll tell you here. I'll go with this example of uh, clicking on this login button, guys. You see, manually I'll show you what will happen if you don't enter this username, password, and click on this login button on this website. I'll show you. So I'm not entering username, password, and clicking on the login button. You are going to get an alert saying error, password, or username. If you are getting this alert, means this login button got clicked. That is the proof. Okay. So now let me click on the login button uh, and see uh, whether that alert is coming or not. Okay. So for that, guys, uh, I have to inspect this login button because I need to directly click on the login button without entering any username and password. So I'll inspect this login button. This is the HTML code of the login button. Does it have an ID? No. Does it have any name? No. Does it have any class name? No. The, is this an hyperlink so that I can copy the text between the tags and use that as a link text? No. Then I have to either use XPath expression or CS selector. So I'll go with XPath expression first. Okay. So how do you how to create an XPath expression for this uh, HTML code? Control F. Select this line and say Control F, and you'll get this. Uh, sorry, I just clicked on something. Inspect this again. Right click on. Uh, just select this and say Control F, and this uh, text field will come. Find by string selector XPath. Here, before I type something here, I'll copy some this value, value attributes value. That is login value. I'll copy, and here I'll write on the tag name is input and attribute name is value. Double slash input. At the rate value is equal to. You already know how to create uh, XPath expressions on the fly uh, from the previous sessions where I covered, you know, XPath expressions in detail. Okay, XPath and CSS. So you know how to create this kind of XPath expressions. So this is locating only one element on the web page. Uh, that element is nothing but this login button. When I hover here, you see the login button is getting highlighted. So this XPath expression is working. Copy this, come back here and write down here, write down by dot XPath and in double quotes, paste that XPath expression and say, what dot click? Okay, we are clicking on the button, right? We are going to click on this login button. So let's see what will happen. Run the script and see whether that alert is coming or not. We'll maximize the browser window. Need to you see error password or username alert is coming means the button has been clicked. Okay. That login button has been clicked, then that's on the, then only you are getting that alert saying error username or password. Now, here we have found the element with the help of uh, XPath expression type of locator with the help of find element command from Selenium. Okay, now let's use the last type of locator that is a CSS selector locator. Okay, so instead of XPath, we'll use dot CSS selector. Okay, and here we have to give the CSS selector. So for that, I'll go to this and inspect this login button, the same. Uh, HTML code here instead of XPath expression, I'll convert this XPath expression into CS selector. Double double forward slash you remove that and add the red symbol you remove that. This will become a CS selector now. Press enter. It's still locating the login button one of one. Copy the CSS selector and come back here and paste it here. Run this code. We'll see that with the help of CSS selector also we are able to we'll be able to find the element and we'll be able to click on that login button and we'll get an alert on the web page. Error username or password alert will come on the web page. That proves that the login button on the page has been clicked. If you are getting that alert, means error password or username means the login button has been clicked in the bottom. You see, the browser got closed. Everything is working fine. So, with this, guys, I hope you understood uh, how to use this find element command for locating elements with the help of different type of locators in Selenium, WebDriver, Python. Okay. So, we have we are done with the practical de demonstration, guys, in this session. So this is very important command, guys. Most of the times we use this command. Okay, even every command is important. Initial commands are always repeatable and mostly used here and there. So we should be good with all the initial list of commands anyhow. So that's all for this session, guys. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.